Hey folks, this is Wistful Deal here, and in this video here, I have some very, <laughs> I have some very interesting thoughts for upcoming films coming out within, I don't know, later this year and next year and so on and whatnot. I have some very interesting thoughts with Disney and Pixar here. Now, I know I did um, a movie review back just recently yesterday and whatnot since I finally got the chance to see Deadpool and Wolverine. But anyway, I, I have some thoughts that I really want to express to you folks on these upcoming films and everything. Some of the things I am excited for, but there's way more misses than hits here. So, anyway, let's go ahead and discuss that. So, first things first that I'm really, really uninterested in going ahead to go see personally is Mufasa. <laughs> There's going to be a prequel to The Lion King, and we're going to check out the origin of Mufasa. Which is, yay. I'm so happy and excited, because I really, really wanted to go see Mufasa and check out his origin and backstory. What the heck happened to him or whatever, you know, whatever. So, anyway, the reason I'm really unexcited to personally go see Mufasa is that it's going to be in the live action stuff. And I was really, really unpleased with the 2019 um, live action remake of Lion King because... Uh, John Reynolds, I think that's what his name was or whatever, right? He just wanted stuff to be so goddamn realistic that it took away the expressional emotions. So everyone else would pretty much be like this. <laughs> Instead of, you know, having it be like in, I don't know, the old, like in the um, early 2000s with... Maybe with the animals talking, with humans talking, but just have the animals on camera, even though that would be a bit awkward too or whatever. But they could have done a technique with that film, like, there was a way to do it, because back in, like, what, Narnia, Chronicles of Narnia or whatever, and what, 2004, 3, some shit, whatever, right? Back when they did that film, that the lion, um... So that Lion King, whatever, right, um, pretty much, um, they did a really damn good job with his facial expression, and you can actually read it and feel it with him and whatnot and everything, but in the 2019 Disney remake of The Lion King, I was really um, unpleased with it personally, because everything just felt so watered down and I feel like overall with this new Mufasa film it's just pretty much just basically gonna be well Mufasa's gonna have his dad or whatever because get it he he referenced um his father before him about the stars and shit uh get it get it this is the grandpa this is Simba's grandpa and stuff Phil feelings whatnot and whatever and he's gonna meet up with um Sarabi or whatever the hell her name is, you know. It just overall just seems like a prequel that's really unnecessary, really, you know, unneeded. And I just don't, I'm just not excited for that at all by any means. Another film I'm not really too excited for, I don't care much for personally. Though I don't really hate it, but it's just not really my cup of tea, is Moana 2, which is, yeah, sure... I guess it could be interesting and whatnot, but I I don't really care too much about Moana. Sure, the story was pretty decent. The visuals were good back in the original and everything. And it is interesting to see where Moana's journey could go next, but I'm not really a big fan of Moana, really personally. But you know what? That's just an okay hit or miss to me. Another film that I'm really not interested in to go see is Toy Story 5. Because <laughs> we really needed a Toy Story 4 to begin with. It's just... The Toy Story series just gave me such a headache. Because um, personally, I felt like they should have just stopped it at free. And I feel like they're kind of milking it now or whatever at this point with the Toy Story franchise and series. Because with the fourth one, I felt that it was decent. It was interesting. I did like the idea of it and stuff. But it just felt 
super unneeded, you know. I felt like I felt like it should have just ended with Toy Story 3 with Andy and whatnot. And yeah, I guess it is more interesting now, in a sense, I guess, because I heard from the premise here of that it's pretty much toys dealing with electronics. Which I guess they really could have done with Toy Story 4, honestly. You know, maybe mix the two together or something like that. Have that be the case or whatever. I'm not really too sure. A lot of these announcements, by the way, are going to be prequels, sequels, and uh, reboots. There's like three to four originals. Which really explains why I'm kind of unexcited for some of these. Um, there's Avatar Free, apparently, which I... I really don't care much for. I didn't even care much for the first one, honestly, even though it exploded back in 2009. And I never even got the chance to really see The Way of Water, aka, AKA Avatar 2, because it just seemed, you know, like, uh, okay, I guess. None of us were really excited to go see it, so we decided to not really go ahead and, you know, go see it. Another film that I'm really uninterested in, personally, there's a lot of things that I'm really not interested in, but trust me, there's some good ones, but I want to get to the bad ones first, or the unpleased ones, personally. Another one I'm really uninterested in, even though many people are excited for it, but I kind of don't really know why, is Incredibles Free. Yeah, Incredibles Free, which I'm really not really pleased with or really excited to go see as well because the second one ended up just being a rehash of the first one beat for beat and everything and it overall just waters down and it just makes the sequel um, Incredibles 2 be very weak and everything. The only difference they did in the sequel Incredibles 2 was just swap the roles you know um instead of Incredible Mr. Incredible going out there it's Mrs. Incredible you know, and whatnot, and I just felt like they could have done a significantly better, and I guess the same director is back at it again with this third one or whatever, so I'm having my fingers crossed, but I'm not holding my breath by any means, and I swear to God, if it's just the same old shit over and over again with the same beat for beat, exactly as the second one, which is the exactly the same as the third one, I'm... I'm just going to be, I'm just going to call that director the worst, personally, because, like, it, come on. Like, is that what this is going to be with Incredibles 3? Like, we're just going to do the same beat for beat? Oh, no, we got, we got illegal again, even though we said we were going to get illegal before or whatever. Oh, no, we're at the dinner scene, time to fight. Oh, no, we're at the dinner scene, time to uh, argue or some bullshit thing. The law is the law. <laughs> We can't do anything, you know. I don't really know too much, but I really, really hope they cha actually change something, whether it's through um, changing the character's ages or whatnot. Just, just add something fresh and unique for once, please. You know, don't rehash the same old shit because that's what we all thought before with Incredibles 2. That's what... We, I mean, that's what I was kind of expecting, you know, something a bit different, you know, continue the story, but don't have it legit be the same copy and paste shit over and over again. Blue is still blue, folks, even though it's a little bit of a darker blue and everything, and there's, I don't know, purple dots or some shit, pink dots, whatever, it's still goddamn blue, you know, so actually add some actual flavor and actually change something, though. Um, there's a Lilo and Stitch live action that's gonna come, which I am curious to see. I'm not a huge fan of Lilo and Stitch, but he is definitely nostalgic to me, so that may or may not be an interesting thing to go check out. I, I hope it is. Another thing that's gonna come is Ironheart, which I'm, like, are you fucking kidding me? No, I really don't care much for that. There's Frozen Free, which I'm like, e yay, uh, okay, I guess, you know, sure, why not? I suppose that could work, it couldn't, you know, but we'll have to wait and see. There's a Snow White remake, which is okay. 
you know, and whatnot. But there's, like, legit one film that I'm actually very curious to see. And this is, like, the only film that I'm, like, actually excited to go see is Zootopia 2. Now, obviously, um, I'm a huge furry fan, honestly, right? I've honestly been a furry. I'm more of a furry than a brony, personally. But you know what? I really loved Zootopia when it first came out. Zootopia was great and everything. Yeah, the message... The message may not have been the greatest or whatever, but you know what? I overall loved Zootopia. I feel like Zootopia was a great film, and I'm super damn curious to check out um, Zootopia again, to see Judy Hopps again and Nick Wilde and everything. I'm really, you know, super damn curious. That's like the only thing that I'm actually curious, curious on. And it's not just because of the... Um, Okay, well, it's partially because of the Afro animals or whatever, you know, the freaking furs or whatever, right? Okay, I mean, I'm curious on that and everything or two. But more importantly is that Zootopia was an overall decent film, you know, and I, I overall liked it. It's The first one was really good and everything. I definitely liked it. Yeah, I like it because of the... Um, Afro animals and stuff, but along that side, you know, it was overall really good, and it just overall just seemed very grounded, you know, with some of the more racial type stuff, you know, with the um, animals and everything. I find that very, you know, unique and very interesting, even though we're not animals or ponies or whatever, it's still something we can all relate to and everything or two, and... I often just hate the kind of negative Fourier premise and stuff of Afro animals because Afro or humanoid animal characters have, like, been around for, like, freaking decades, past, like, the century or whatever, you know? Like, freaking the earliest I can even think of is um, Felix, I think that's his name, Felix the Cat or whatever, which is, like, back in, like, the 20, 1920s or whatever, or even a little bit further, you know, it Bugs Bunny and, like, the... 30s or 40s, whatever, you know, so, Afro animals, it's nothing really, honestly, new or whatever, and I hate how there's kind of a negative rap, in a sense, between furries and people into, um, or at least people that have a high intrigue with, um, Afro characters and animals and stuff, because of the whole furry community and how that popped up and everything or two, so, anyway, um, there's another interesting one that I may or may not check out. Fantastic Four just seems okay. I could check out Captain America 4 or Captain America New World Order. I guess I could check out or whatever. But again, like I said, the only actual one that I'm actually interested in and I actually want to check out and I'm excited for is Zootopia 2, you know. And the others I could check out and go see, you know, like... Frozen 3, okay, I'm not really excited for, but you know what, we can go ahead and go check it out, and um, Moana 2, I'm, I'm curious to go ahead and go see, just see what happens or whatever, but the rest I'm really not interested in, you know, I'm really not interested in Mufasa, freaking, you know, because I guess we really need to know his backstory for some odd reason, or, um, um, what was the other one I'm thinking here? Or Toy Story 5. I'm really not interested in seeing Toy Story 5. Or freaking, um, yeah. There's just, there's just overall some other stuff. Just a bunch of films coming out. Oh, and apparently there's a Snow White that's coming, which I'm really, okay, I guess. I guess we could go see Snow White or whatever. I'm really uninterested in, honestly. The overall, um, and the main reason I'm pointing out these titles and upcoming films and whatnot is that I was just browsing through YouTube and um, D23 or whatever caught my attention. So I decided to go ahead and check it out, you know, just see what's up or whatever. And overall, there's something, there's other than Zootopia, there's some things that I'm willing to give it a chance, but I'm overall just kind of disappointed in a sense because 
mostly, yeah, it's just sequels. It's just reboots, live action, whatever. But also, Disney has really d been dimmed in my eyes, especially with that whole um, bullshit thing with the um, with that uh, couple or whatever when they went to Disney and how the husband is suing Disney because his wife got allergic to, I don't know, something, whatever, the meal that she had at a restaurant there, and how they made absolute sure numerous times about how if it was, I don't know, gluten free or no nuts or whatever, I'm not too sure. But anyway, the workers, though, like, assured them numerous times, and then yet they still gave her, um, an allergic reaction to a meal or whatever or something. And now that husband's trying to sue Disney and now Disney is like, no, you can't do that. You're, you, 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 you subscribe to our subscription service monthly, or whatever. Here. Since you're part of our customer and part of the member, we will not, you know, cooperate or something. It's just total idiotic bullshit, I feel. And Honestly, I am overall just displeased with Din with uh, Disney. It's I've been feeling that way for a couple years now, slowly, and overall, I'm just yeah. I just I don't really care much for Disney that much anymore, and the fact that there's just more sequel, you know, more yeah, some sequels could be good, but the fact that there's we still have that live action trash, how we still have some you know, reboots and whatnot, how we're digging up the old grave or whatever, you know, it just, it just overall just feels like they're just throwing at whatever can stick to a wall, you know, they're just throwing whatever at a wall and just seeing what the hell can stick or whatever, and I'm overall not really excited, there's, yeah, again, I keep saying it, there's that one film, Zootopia 2, that I'm really interested in to go see, in some films, I'm willing to give a chance, but I'm overall just unpleased with it, overall and everything. This is kind of partially why it's really getting harder and harder for me to really try to go to the movies, because there's just not much films I'm really excited to go see or whatever, and I don't want to just stream it or whatever on HBO or whatever or some crap, because I hate just doing everything at home kind of trope mentality and everything, you know, with, like, you can get food at DoorDash, you can watch movies streaming or whatever at home or whatever, like, yeah, it's consistent or whatever, but you know what, it's also fun to get out to, it's fun to, it's still fun for me to go to the movies and films, it's still fun to get something at a restaurant or whatever, instead of sitting on my ass at home all day, like how I've been doing because of my food recovery and overall everything or two, you know, it's it's still fun to get out in public despite the chaos and mayhem, you know, it's still, it's, it's just overall nice and everything, and I hate that idea of just doing everything at home because then life just becomes super damn dull and boring and everything. As much as I am a gamer and game at this home and everything, and I make videos and content for your folks and everything. It's still nice to get out in public and to smell roses. I don't know, check things out, go to an art museum, you know, just outdoor activity and stuff, you know, even if it's not as convenient or whatever, you know, it's still overall enjoyable to me. But overall, this is just my view and take on these upcoming films. I mean, yeah, I didn't really need to make it, but it's something that I... Thank you to go ahead and share my thoughts on and everything. What films are you folks very curious to see and to check out and everything? At the end of the day, this is just my view and my take and everything. But yeah, Disney is overall just proving my point even more so that this is kind of the reason why I don't really do films that much anymore. You know, I mean, I'm, I mean, I could go see some of these films or whatever, but I'm just. Oh, I'm just really not interested in stuff, you know, I, I don't want to go see a film that's going to be bad, you know, I want to see a film that's at least good, or that meets, like, me, or that makes me think differently, or has a unique perspective, or whatever, instead of just a told story that didn't really need to be told, or whatever, you know, but overall, at, at the end of the day, this is just my view and thoughts on these upcoming films, and that's overall just pretty much it for this video here. Let me know what you folks think of these upcoming films. Are you excited for some of these? What are you okay with? And what are you just very unpleased to check out and go see? 
But overall, these are just my view and thoughts on these upcoming films. And that's pretty much it for this video here, folks. So, if you folks liked it, be sure to leave a like, leave a comment, hit subscribe for more. And I'll see you all sooner or later. Bye-bye, everyone.